how to add different headers to different pages on Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add different and differentiate the headers from each other and between the pages. So it is not going to be here something hard to do. So we are going to simplify here the tutorial as much as I can. So we are going basically here to have each one of the page with different header or navigation bar. So we are going to start by getting to Wix.com. Then we are going to head over the site's dashboard after we have successfully logged in into our account. So basically here I am going to choose one of the websites that I own. I'm going to select this one for example. From here. We're going to see here the dashboard of the website. Now we are on the control panel of that website. So we do not need something from the control panel for this tutorial. We are going to click on design site or edit site right there. It is going to be here. Um, uh, maybe a difference between the time that you have created the website and the time that you have used it. So we are going to click on it and then it will uh, here show up your website. I have reloaded our website right there. So we're not going to waste some time. Now what I'm going to do here is to see this is the home page. I'm going to make sure that we are on the home page. So basically we are going to set up our header. Now this header is going to be like this. So we are going to customize it and make it unique. So you can go ahead and click on a quick edit on the header. And the hamburger menu is going to have here some settings like that. So we are going to have a hamburger menu on this one. We are going to make it a little bit unique. Now what I'm going to do is to head to another page like the about page. I'm going to select it and see if we have the same one. So basically we have the same header. Now what I am going to do is to click on the page or pages and menu. So we're going to select from here the three dots, which is more. We're going to click on settings. And here we're going to see the page info, the layout and etc. We're going to head over the layout. Now, as you can see, we have the layout set as standard. We're going to put it as no header and no footer. So we are going to make it like this. Why did I do that? because we need it unique. So we are going to add a section here. And that section is going to be our new header. So we are going to add different elements for this one. So for example, we can add something like a menu and anchors. I'm going to add this menu here, for example, like that. And we are going to let it as it. So I'm going to change the header color like this. By clicking on change background, we're going to make it white. So I like this color better. So and let it as it is. Now I'm going to click on save and click on save and continue. And here we have added or saved this one. So when you are going to head over the menu right there and head over the home page, we're going to have here a different header or the first header that we've had. And when you are going to head back to the about page, you're going to see a different header. Now we can do that for all the pages practically. For example, for the shop page, I'm going to enter that page and see that we have here the same header. So I'm going to put this here. We have the same header. Now I'm going to remove that. You're going to click on pages and menu like this. This is it. And then we are going to select the page. We are going to head over the menu site. So we are going to get the full control of the page. We are on the home or not the home, but the shop page. We are going to click on the three dots. So basically here it is not a page. So we are going to have it right there. So basically here I'm going to see this is the category page. It is not set for the uh, shop because it is linked. So we're going to head over the store pages. We have here the category page. 
we're going to select the layout and we are going to remove uh, the header and the footer. So we are going to put no header and no footer. So we are going to see that we have the same thing. We're going to add a new section, make it like this, for example. I'm not going to make this uh, bigger. So we are going to change the background color to something like this, maybe like that. And we can go ahead and start customizing it. For example, by adding more elements. Uh, on the previous one, we've had uh, added this menu. So in this one, I'm going to add a different menu just like that. So I'm going to grab this menu, put it in here. So we have made this. And we can add some vector arts, for example, if we want. So we can go ahead in here and see some, let's say here, decoration or decorative. So we can see some vector arts like that. I'm going to add this, maybe this boat. I'm going to make it like that. Put it in here, in this case, and make the header back to normal size. So this is it. And now we are going to click on save. And you are going to see that we have three different headers for three different pages. We are going to visit here the site menu. We are going to head over the home page. We have something different. We are going to visit right there the about page. We're going to get something more different. And finally, the shop page, which is going to have something even more different. Basically, we can go ahead and do the same thing for all the pages. So for example, here, we're going to head over the, uh, here we have the shop for the homepage. If we want to do uh, this, we can go ahead either and uh, remove this one by clicking on the pages menus and clicking on settings, uh, have it heading over the layout and the setup no header and footer or we can go ahead and customize it as it is. So for example, I'm going to select here, uh, I'm going to change the header design, like the colors and opacities, for example. I'm going to change the color here. I do not like this. So I'm going to make it a little bit like this. So I want a, a here a white color. So we're going to make it just so I'm going to apply it and make it white. So this is better, I think. So we are going to click on save. Now we are going to see that we've had made where right there is something unique. So basically that was everything for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.